Right, Natasha, would you like to read the results? Yeah, so Jackie's done really well. She's lost um, five inches off of her total measurements, which if you've lost a couple of inches off your waist hips, I would suggest is possibly a clothes size. Hmm. Um, you've lost three pounds and one percent body fat, so in six weeks, um, that is really good. So you're you're pleased with your results? Yeah, really pleased. <laughs> what have you enjoyed most about the course? The gym. It's got me up the gym again, and and I enjoy working out at the gym, and I'll carry on now for sure. So were you a member here before? I you? was, but then I just got lazy. But now it's, it's keeping me to get back into oh, it again. Good. So when the kids are in bed, I'm coming up here with my husband and we're up here for about an hour. Oh, good. So, no, I'm definitely going to do that. I'm going to rejoin. So oh, good. Tonight. Great, doesn't she? Right, Carol, you've lost seven and a half inches, eight and eight pounds. How are you feeling? Much better. A lot healthier as well. OK, we started the competition, you versus Michael. I know, he's so won. It's not fair. <laughs> but I reckon we should um, sort of like even it out a bit because I'm a girl and he's a boy. So I reckon if you took them stats, I'd probably be better than him because I'm usually better than him at everything. <laughs> Natasha, I don't agree, but as far as <laughs> representing the girls, do you agree? 100%. <laughs> yeah, see? Everything's okay. always more difficult when I it comes to weight as a girl, a yeah. What's been your most challenging moment? Um, Apart spin. from the dough balls. Spin? Uh, yeah, spinning. Although I was up for it, I was up for doing it more afterwards. I just wanted to push myself after that because I was so crap the first time. Oh, we'll go back to spin, yeah. won't we, some stage, I'm just Right, Michael, you've lost 13 pounds, 10.1% body fat, an amazing 11 inches. How have you done it? Sorry? How have you done it? Uh, just competition against Carol, really. I had a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really what it was? No, when we first come, I remember. Said, yeah. Yeah, because we are. There's video evidence. We are quite competitive, yeah. But um, I don't know, really. Obviously, following the diet to stuff. What have you um, changed the most, do you think? What's been the biggest change for you to uh, allow these to happen? Loads. Your exercise or your f nutrition or everything. both? I think everything, really, because, to be honest, if you you don't really think about what you're eating when, you first, when you're first when eating it, in general. Mm -hmm. And the amount of processed food we probably did eat was quite massive, really, and the amount of takeaways that we did eat. So that, I mean, the, the, the food um, change is quite big. Water, I never think. Yeah, anyway, so do you feel it. really different? Oh, healthier. So much healthier, yeah. I feel. Oh, that's great, isn't I've, it? I'm still. I'm getting so much fitter now. I was. I was in the army before, and I was really fit then. <clears throat> I'm getting back to then. I, I feel so healthier than I did then. But I know I'm not as fit as I was then. But I'm getting that way now, and uh, obviously the gym a lot. I, I, and Carol, so you're both becoming fitness fanatics. Yeah. I mean, I probably. Oh, I always go every other day. It? Probably four times a week on the gym. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> Okay, so Lynn, um, her results are um, she's lost 13 pounds, um, her blood pressure's come down considerably, um, she's lost 1.5% 1 1 body fat and a massive 13 and a half inches. Lynn, how yes. do you feel? I feel thrilled to bits. Thrilled. Very happy and very proud of myself. What's been your most enjoyable moment? The training with Matt. Oh. And why? Well, I'm new to, of course. <laughs> why has Matt been so because good? Because he's taught me so much. You know, About? Well, I've been going to the gym myself for 18 months, but, you know, they're inclined to sort of let you get on with it. He's taught me lots of different things and pointed me in the right direction. So do you and fit... pushed me, which is what I need. Do you feel... To explain how you feel different. I've got much more confidence. I feel much fitter. I feel much healthier. I'm actually awake when I get up in the morning. <laughs> I just feel good about myself, and that's important. Oh, that's great. Previously, you've lost quite a few stones. How has yeah. your nutrition changed between your last diet and this diet? Totally different. Totally. I don't feel so bogged down because I was still having quite a bit of bread. I don't feel so bloated. My clothes are all loose. <laughs> you couldn't ask for more, really, Lynn, could you? No, I couldn't, no. I couldn't ask so the that. challenge was to lose a stone in six weeks, and you've certainly done that and lost and a load of inches. You know, when you consider that I was drinking six or seven cans of Diet Coke a day, <gasps> God, and loads of cups of coffee and everything, and I haven't touched coffee or Diet Coke, and I haven't missed it, and I haven't had any you, cravings. Your water's been fantastic as well, yeah. and you've drunk all your water. Yeah. And I haven't had any cravings. Like, 
on my previous diet, I still crave chocolate and things. It's because of the yeah. protein content is right for you. You don't then crave I've the sugar. I've absolutely no cravings and I've never felt hungry, ever. Oh, that's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. I've had mental hunger where I fancied something I've yeah, seen. Yeah, of course. But I haven't actually been physically hungry. Right, here we have Julia, and Julia's lost seven pounds, so half a stone. Um, how much body fat percentage, Natasha? Four percent. And what's been your favourite part of the course, Julia? Um, the personal training, I think. Lots right. of people have enjoyed that yes. this time. Who was your trainer? Well, I'm, I'm in Team Matt, but uh, it was Joe, in fact, who did the training. Aww. Oh, really? <laughs> so. And how's cheeky little Joe? Cheeky little Joe's fine. <laughs> <laughs> He's famous for not really pushing people, but more of having a chat. Well, no, would I, you I say that was the case? No, no, I would say he pushed me, definitely. He got me doing four, 454 on the row for 1,000 metres. Excellent. So. That's brilliant. Did he... That's the best. That is that last night. That's the best I've done. Did he have you dribbling outside or not? You know he's a footballer, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> oh, that kind of dribbling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no. So were you a member here before, no. Julia? So was the whole gym thing a new thing for you? No, and I've been a member at Cannons for a number of years, and then not gone and carried on paying and that sort of thing. So I didn't want to do that again. So you feel a lot fitter, do I you? I do feel a lot fitter, and I want to try and take some of those things out, you know, like get maybe one of those balls. Okay. And uh, do that in the plank and see if I can keep that going. You, you certainly look a lot. Yes. Your I, skin looks well, the immaculate, doesn't it? The water is the big thing. I mean, I was drinking probably half a litre a day. Yeah, we were saying last week how it's... Yeah, huge difference. Because I used to you be look grey. so healthy. Yeah. Really, Julia, though. <laughs> Thank you. More so than anyone that's come in, I think. Really? You. Absolutely. Because I used to be really grey. I mean, I haven't sorted out the sleep. I think when I sort the sleep out, I shall be. What radiant. do you? What's the problem with your sleep? I just don't get enough. <laughs> okay. Well, you go to bed late, or have to get up very early. Both. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. <laughs> what time do you go to bed? Or don't I ask? Um. Well, I try to get to bed by eleven, but uh, usually it's not, and I'm up at six. Okay. So it's seven hours usually. Okay. And so once uh, you've got that, or at, at most, yes. Yeah, once I've got that sorted, I shall. That would be the whole, the full best. circle. Yeah. But I think the water was really very interesting because I, I knew I'd heard about two liters being necessary. Mhm. Mm um, but I just, I'm actually enjoying water more. Yeah. I don't know why that should be. I think. Here we have Anna, who's lost an amazing 12 pounds. <laughs> if we had a live studio audience, they'd be standing up going crazy right now. 1% body, body fat and an amazing 9.5 inches. How do you feel? Great, thank you. Still got a long way to go, though. <laughs> Not at all. I'll just keep going with it. <laughs> Not at all. Looking at your before and after photos, I can see how they're going to be amazing when we put them next to each other. Good. <laughs> Have you felt your clothes differently? Yeah, clothes are definitely a lot looser, or I'm fitting back into my pre-pregnancy clothes properly now. Um, but I did have a very exciting episode in Devon. I was looking for a ball dress where the 16 was too big. So oh! Was oh. Body. If you've <laughs> lost three and a half inches off your waist, I would suggest that most definitely is a clothes size, possibly yeah. two. Well, I, I slipped into it some size 18 ones before so uh, I would say yeah two clothes sizes which in six weeks is phenomenal yeah no it's Anna. great so really pleased so uh, yes what do you think you've changed the most those. from what your lifestyle before the exercise definitely okay and cutting out the carbs that's been I've lost weight doing that before and had sort of forgotten about that and now I've realized I've just got to got to avoid carbohydrates it's uh, or not, certainly not the so complex ones yeah, yeah, the breads and the pastas breads and, and pastas and white rice and